the ugly side of Scandinavian life that no one talks about. Television in Denmark sucks. Finnish men drink too much. Sweden falls short of being a model democracy. 12.3% of the Nordic population is struggling or suffering. It's time to bust some myths. Who doesn't love a positive Nordic news story? Denmark delights us with its happiness rates. Sweden impresses with gender equality. Finland shines in education. Norway basks in natural resources. Now let's get real. Ever wondered why the Danes top the happiness charts? They have high levels of social cohesion. Of course, their work days just eight hours long. This translates to low productivity. How can the Danes afford all the commodities then? They have one of the highest rates of private debt, but that's not all. Denmark's environmental footprint is enormous. Its offshore windmills may look impressive, but the country heavily relies on coal. Now let's talk about a more common struggle, TV. Primetime Danish TV is filled with reruns of Midsummer Murders. It can also offer a variety of pig welfare documentaries. Denmark has one of the highest tax rates worldwide, and yet its wages rank 8th. Danish schools rank lower than British ones. The Danish health service is overstressed. Maybe that's why Denmark has the highest rates of cancer. Now let's talk about Norway. Norway has a popular anti-Muslim progress party. Anti-Muslim rallies are frequent. In 2015, there was a hair salon incident in Bryn. A hairdresser refused service to a Muslim customer. She called the hijab a totalitarian symbol. In 2018, Norway banned the burqa in the Kaban schools. It's one of 10 European countries to restrict religious attire. 66% of Norwegians would dislike a Muslim marrying into their family. Norway has record numbers of asylum applications. Most of them are rejected. What about Finland? The country ranks 10th in global gun ownership. It has the second highest murder rate in Northern Europe. Moreover, it has the highest suicide rate in the Nordic region. Alcohol consumption is a significant issue. In fact, it's the leading cause of death for Finnish men. Finnish schools are not exactly safe. In 2006, an 18-year-old set fire to poor Vu Cathedral. In 2007, another 18-year-old carried out the Oculus shootings. In 2008, a student shot and killed 10 classmates. Now let's move on to Sweden. Young Swedes were once asked to describe their fellow citizens. The top adjectives they chose were envious, stiff, nature-loving, honest, dishonest, xenophobic. The Swedes are indeed very closed off. Swedish women make as little sound as possible during childbirth. Crying at funerals is generally frowned upon. Sweden has basically been a one-party state for over a century. Youth unemployment in Sweden is higher than the EU average. And the most telling statistic might be this. A record number of Swedes emigrate 